United States Strategic Command is one of ten unified combatant commands in the United States Department of Defense. Headquartered at Offutt Air Force Base, Nebraska, USSTRATCOM is responsible for strategic deterrence, global strike, and operating the Defense Department's global information grid. It also provides a host of capabilities to support the other combatant commands, including strategic warning, integrated missile defense, and global command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance C4ISR. This dynamic command gives national leadership a unified resource for greater understanding of specific threats around the world and the means to respond to those threats rapidly. Topic. Mission statement USSTRATCOM employs tailored nuclear, cyber, space, global strike, joint electronic warfare, missile defense, and intelligence capabilities to deter aggression, decisively respond if deterrence fails, assure allies, shape adversary behavior, defeat terror, and define the force of the future. Topic. Priorities Strategic deterrence Decisive response A combat ready force Topic. Commander's intent Embrace strategic deterrence, consisting of innovative joint fighting forces integrated and synchronized in multiple domains to ensure national security. Ensure that we can and will provide a decisive response to aggression, against any threat, when called upon by national leadership. Anticipate and meet tactical, theater, and strategic demands through our campaign plan, our operational plans, and capability development. Develop the next generation of professionals and capabilities in order to prevail in future conflicts. Topic headquarters Organizational structure J1 Manpower and Personnel, develops and administers command manpower and personnel policies, human resources, and personnel assignment programs. J2 Intelligence, responsible for delivering all source intelligence while enabling the execution of assigned strategic deterrence, space and cyberspace operations. Directs all intelligence-related support for the commander and ensures unity of intelligence effort across the command. J3 Global Operations, coordinates the planning, employment and operation of DOD strategic assets and combines all current operations, intelligence, and global command and control operations. Subdivisions within J3 include combat and information operations, current operations, logistics, and joint electromagnetic spectrum operations, JEMSO. J4 Logistics, the Logistics Directorate plans, coordinates and executes joint logistics functions, and provides capability-based readiness assessments and facilities management in support of U.S. Strategic Command's global mission. J5 Plans and Policy, responsible for coordinating the development and implementation of national security policy as it applies to the command and the execution of its mission. Develops future plans, policy and strategy across all mission areas as outlined in the Unified Command Plan. J6C4 Systems, coordinates, facilitates, monitors and assesses systems, networks and communications requirements. J7 Joint Exercises, Training and Assessments, manages the USSTRATCOM Commander's Joint Exercises, Training, and Assessments programs in order to ensure readiness to perform the command missions. Provides modeling and simulation support for exercises and training events to the Joint Chiefs of Staff JCS, Combatant Commands, and other major commands MAJCOM. Manages the Joint Lessons Learned program. Augments the battle staff during a crisis. J8 Capability and Resource Integration, conducts force management and analysis to include integrating, coordinating, prioritizing, and advocating USSTRATCOM future concepts, mission capability needs, weapons system development, support for emerging technologies, and command and control architecture across the mission areas. Responsible for all command requirement processes, and ensures appropriate decision support tools and assessment processes are in place to enhance operational capabilities. 
J-10 Joint Reserve Directorate – The Joint Reserve Directorate advises CDRUSSTRATCOM and staff on matters related to the Army, Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps Reserve personnel assigned to USSTRATCOM. The J-10 coordinates reserve funding requests with the applicable service. Topic. Component structure U.S. Strategic Command's day-to-day -day planning and execution for the primary mission areas is done by the following USSTRATCOM components Joint Force Air Component Commander JFACC, Barksdale AFB, LA, conducts kinetic nuclear and, and non-kinetic effects planning and execution. JFACC manages global force air activities to assure allies and to deter and dissuade actions detrimental to the United States and its global interests, should deterrence fail, employs global strike air forces bombers and ICBMs in support of combatant commander. Joint Forces Maritime Component Commander STRATCOM, JFMCC, Naval Station Norfolk, Norfolk, Virginia, to conduct operations in the maritime environment for strategic deterrence. It is commanded by U.S. Fleet Forces Command. Joint Force Space Component Commander JFSCC, Peterson AFB, CO, JFSCC directs assigned and attached USSTRATCOM Space Forces providing tailored, responsive, theater and global space effects in support of national objectives. JFSCC executes operational command and control of space forces through the Combined Space Operations Center CSPOC at Vandenberg AFB. JFCC – Integrated Missile Defense JFCCIMD – Shriver AFB – CO – JFCCIMD is constantly monitoring for any missile activity or threat against the United States and its allies. In the event of an attack, IMD plans and coordinates the necessary actions to counter the threat when directed, also provides alternate missile defense execution support. Joint Warfare Analysis Center JWAC, Dahlgren, VA, the Joint Warfare Analysis Center JWAC, provides combatant commands, joint staff, and other customers with precise technical solutions in order to carry out the national security and military strategies of the United States. JWAC maintains and enhances its ability to conduct comprehensive technical analysis. Topic. Service components Topic. Army Army Space and Missile Defense Command – Army Forces Strategic Command SMDC, ARSTRAT. Topic. Marines Marine Corps Forces Strategic Command helps to coordinate USMC and STRATCOM in areas such as space, cyberspace, electronic warfare, and combating weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Navy Fleet Forces Command USFF. Topic. Air Force Air Force Global Strike Command AFGSC. Air Force Space Command AFSPC. Topic. Command Posts Topic. Global Operations Center The Global Operations Center, or GOC, is the nerve center for USSTRATCOM. The GOC is responsible for the global situational awareness of the commander, USSTRATCOM, and is the mechanism by which he exercises operational command and control of the nation's global strategic forces. Topic. Airborne Command Post U.S. Strategic Command's Airborne Command Post ABNCP, also called Looking Glass, 
allows USSTRATCOM the ability to command, control, and communicate with its nuclear forces should ground-based command centers become inoperable. History USSTRATCOM was originally formed in 1992, as a successor to Strategic Air Command in response to the end of the Cold War and a new vision of nuclear warfare in U.S. defense policy. Department of Defense changes in command structure due to the Goldwater Nichols Act of 1986, led to a single command responsible for all strategic nuclear weapons. As a result, USSTRATCOM's principal mission was to deter military attack, and if deterrence failed, to counter with nuclear weapons. Throughout its history, it has drawn from important contributions from many different organizations stretching back to World War II. Providing national leadership with a single command responsible for all strategic nuclear forces, General George Butler, in establishing the new command, borrowed from the work of General Curtis LeMay, an early commander of Strategic Air Command. LeMay was a very vocal advocate for a strong national defense, particularly as regards nuclear weapons, being a unified command. Another major concern for General Butler was inter-service rivalry, having soldiers, sailors, airmen and marines in one command. There had been decades of rivalry between the branches of the U.S. military regarding control of nuclear weapons. Even though a compromise had established the Joint Strategic Target Planning Staff, there were systemic and institutional problems that could not be overcome. USSTRATCOM was restructured 1 October 2002 by Secretary of Defense, Donald Rumsfeld. It was now to merge with the United States Space Command and assume all duties for full-spectrum global strike, operational space support, integrated missile defense, and global command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance and specialized planning. Its duties now include intelligence and cyber support as well as monitoring orbiting satellites and space debris. In February 2008, USSTRATCOM succeeded in destroying a satellite, USA-193, about to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. USSTRATCOM also supported United States Africa Command's 2011 military intervention in Libya in a variety of ways, including long-range conventional strikes and intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance (ISR). An intention by the U.S. Air Force to create a cyber command was announced in October 2006. On 21 May 2010, part of USSTRATCOM's responsibility regarding cyber warfare operations was spun off into a 10th unified command, the United States Cyber Command. As a result, USSTRATCOM's Joint Task Force Global Network Operations and Joint Functional Component Command, Network Warfare were disestablished. Topic. List of combatant commanders General Hyten is currently nominated to become the next vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. But there is nobody who has been nominated to succeed Hyten at USSTRATCOM so far, as of mid-May 2019. Topic. See also Nuclear weapons in the United States Strategic Air Command